Hello everybody, welcome back to Siberia. Wouldn't you know it, the train has broken down again. It needs winding up, so we need to find a wind up mechanism. It's got to be along these tracks somewhere. Um, let's just head to the front of the train. Let's go this way to start off with. There's a statue in the distance, one we passed underneath before. That one down there, but there's another one over here. And I want to uh, investigate, actually. And is that a door? That could be a door. Let's just go to the very end, though, to start with. Uh, I might be looking at the thing's leg. I'm not sure. Is that as far as we go? It seems so. Oh, we climb up. We can climb up. That appears to be an option. She's looking up. She doesn't mind ladders. That's the one thing I do know about Kate Walker. She does not mind climbing up some ladders. So what the hell? This thing looks like it was on the tracks itself. I mean... Okay, so someone's, like, living here? Weird. Okay, we've got, like, a little control panel down here, I think. Right, right. That looks like a Vorlberg key, or at least a symbol for a Vorlberg key, so that's weird. If that's going to work... All right. It looks like something's missing. Okay, we've got, like, a dial over here. Uh, some exposed wiring, that's never good, surely. Okay, so there's a button and there's something missing here, okay. I've got no items right now, so... Let's just back out of this. Weird. What's this up here? Ah. Ah, oh. Oh! Another cylinder? It is. Comkulsgrad. That's what this place is called, Comkulsgrad. Okay, it's another voice cylinder. We'll head back to the train to uh, to listen to that. There's something else, too. Um, okay, it's a drawing of this thing, I think. Without its sickle in the right hand. What's up with the... The X? Is it damaged on its right leg or something? X. I, I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. Okay. Oh no, the... Wow, there's a third item here. Ah, that's what was missing on the control panel, right? Okay, so a little lever. And that's it. Okay, I can't examine the books or anything. Sure. The bed, I can't look at. There's something under the bed, but I can't look at that either. Let's take a look at this. So, let's add the handle there. There you go. Right. Oh, it's not working. Unless... Oh no, I can push it forward! Just can't pull it back anymore. Right. Yeah, it's on separate tracks. This is so weird. What's the point of this thing? Is this for sort of carrying cargo off the trains or... or something? I'm not sure. Um... Okay, this button? That still doesn't work. Can we keep going? <laughs> okay, maybe we can meet up with the other one, right at the other end or something. Have a bit of a, a mech fight or something. <laughs> I'll take a hammer, he can take the sickle. <laughs> you can see me, just looking out the window there. How strange. Alright. Still- Oh no, no wait! It works! Oh! That- That's the wind-up mechanism! Right! Alright! Oh, that was easy! What's going to prevent us from moving on, though? Because I, there's no way I can just go back to the train and leave right now, surely. Can we keep going? No. No, we can't. Okay. Right! So, so that's that, I guess. Let's just leave and head down to the... Oh. Oh, no, we can't. There's a... Um, there's a ladder missing. Oh, of course. Yeah, I need to go back, don't I? So, back this way. Yeah, I think we can probably skip this. It's just the same footage in reverse, probably. There you go. Uh, I might need to do it again, to be honest. I'm just out of interest. Do I, do I need to do it again? No? No, I don't. What the hell? There's still no ladder there. Okay. What are we... Are you going to jump that? She's going to jump that. Kate Walker, just a magnificent jump there. Fantastic. What is this? Ooh. Uh, there's a there's a bit of a hole here, it seems, and I need to use something with it. Probably not the voice cylinder, but something. It's not this. Okay. Let's have another look in there. What do we got? Like, tanks, a fire extinguisher, a couple windows. What is this place? I think I walked past the door. You know, on, on the on the ground level. Let's go back down. So I guess to do that we have to we have to go back into the thing and uh, pull it back one more time, then go down the ladder, right? Yeah, very nice. Up we go. Mm, 
Okay, so one more time. So just like that. That should be ready now. Yeah, I should be in the right location. That's it, yep. That's the, uh, that the extra set of steps I needed. So then, yes. Oh, what's this? Hey! Hey! You there! What the hell? He was carrying something. What? What the fuck? Why do I think he may have stolen the other voice cylinders or something like that? Let's go. Let's go. I can't go any further this way anyway, but sure. I think he was heading towards that door, right? It did kind of look like a door or a gate or something. Yeah, there. Let's have a look. Is it a door? It is a door. Okay. Let, let's follow him. That door is locked. Oh. I've got to find another way around. Oh, okay. No slot for a voice cylinder, presumably? Uh, no, actually. Not the right icon. So. Should we, ha should we have a look at the train? We need to go back to the train anyway to listen to the voice cylinder. I uh, I think something may have been stolen. Maybe, oh shit, maybe if it wasn't the voice cylinders, it was the, it was the mammoth toy. Something is going to prevent us from leaving right now. Where's Oscar? Oh, maybe he did go back to the carriage. Or maybe he was disassembled and he was being smuggled away? I don't know. Let's check the carriage. This is getting kind of weird now. And Oscar's not there. Did he actually smuggle Oscar? Oscar's, like, human-sized. How would you do that? Okay, the mammoth toy. And the, the, that's, that's, still, that's still there. What about... Okay, they're still there. And I suppose that is going to go right there, isn't it? In fact, while I'm here, let's listen to it. My dear brother, what joy to have news of you after your long silence during the war years. So, you're working for the Russians now. I tell you, we've been hearing some worrying stories about them here. Just your description of that dingy factory makes me cough. But it's so good to hear that your right. talent is being recognized for its true value, and that your automaton creations are taking the place of workers for all those menial jobs. I'm so proud that Vorlberg automatons are making such a contribution, oh, wow. even if it is small, to the improvement of people's lives. Meanwhile, back in Valadolin, we've been licking our wounds after the war years. Some people have returned, others not. Life is slowly coming back, but it's taking time. All my love, Anna. Huh. Okay, we're definitely on the right track. Hans was at least once here. Was that Hans? That was running away? I don't know. It's possible, I suppose. Anything in here? Was it my suitcase that was stolen? My God, What's... Oscar! <laughs> Oscar, talk to me! Oh my God, he's been gagged! <laughs> oh come on, you're an automaton. You can probably still speak, right? Oh, hang on, there's something down here too. Ah, ah, oh, that looks like a, it's a chain or something tying his hands together, right? No, don't put them away. We're going to need those bolt cutters, right? Or oh, sorry, metal shears. Oh no, no. Oh, how do? We... Oh, hang on. Maybe I don't need to use anything. Well, I guess not. Weird. And my suitcase is fine, so... What the hell is all this about? Perhaps Oscar can tell us. Are you okay? Why, it is absolutely inadmissible, intolerable, and... and... indescribable. I... I have been attacked. <laughs> what do you mean you've been attacked? My hands! I no longer have them! Oh, shit! They have been stolen! I didn't realize that. God, you haven't got your hands! Whoops. But who did this? What's going on here? We can be sure of one thing, Kate Walker. That this heinous crime was committed by a barbarian. A dysfunctional individual whose behavior lacks all finesse. Did you get a look at your attacker? Tell me exactly how it happened. I was standing here polishing up my metalwork. <laughs> I was course. just thinking that with all the dust in the air, it would be a good idea to... Oscar. I was very busy. And I suddenly felt two powerful arms grab me from behind and tie me up before I had the chance to defend myself. I wanted to call out, but my attacker gagged me before I could emit the slightest sound. 
Then he dismantled my hands with a terrifying pair of pliers. It was horrible. Why? I can believe it, my poor Oscar, but did you see him? He was a real barbarian, I tell you. He had bloodshot eyes, steel teeth, and <sighs> brown scaly skin. And he emitted foul odors. He was a monster, Kate Walker. A real monster. Really? And he had mm, a weapon. He looked like a Oscar, human to me. Please calm down. Everything's going to be all right. You might be exaggerating a little bit. Or maybe that's just his depiction of a monster or something. Uh, mission or help or something, probably. Right, Oscar. Let's go find this hand bandit. And this time, we're not going to be such a pushover. <laughs> Kate Walker, please do not think that this problem does not concern me. But if it's all the same to you, I would so much prefer to stay here. Uh -huh, just of to course. be on the safe side. An engineer never abandons his train, after all. Yeah, sure. Another good reason not to lend a... <laughs> I mean, not to help me out. I think he's already Kate done that, Walker. yes. Even an automaton deserves a little compassion. I have just been savagely assaulted. <laughs> oh, I can feel one of my spasms coming on. Oh dear. I am on the verge of a clockwork breakdown. <laughs> and all you do is accuse me of being selfish. Okay, take a rest, Oscar. You're not much use without your hands anyway. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's right. go find this I'm guy. Done. Take care of yourself, Oscar. Good luck, Kate Walker. And don't forget me. How could I possibly forget you? You drive the train. Right, okay, so suitcase is there. Nothing's really been like taken apart from his hands. So someone came in very specifically for my automaton's hands. He must have seen Oscar when he was driving the train or something. Saw him when he was coming in. Yeah, yeah, do a spin, Kate, that helps. Okay, I... How, how do you get through that locked door? Because that's where he went. I need to find another way in, apparently. Is there another way in? There was that hole! I got those metal shears. Maybe that's what that's for. It actually genuinely might be. Hold on, though. I think we've, we've only explored, like, half of this. I could go to the right, couldn't I? I could go back here. I could. Okay, so maybe we're missing something down here. Uh, possibly? Okay. So this is, this is the factory that was depicted in that sort of weird uh, audio flashback, I suppose. And there's mines and stuff around here, too. Explosives? I can't meddle with the explosives, apparently. I can... do something with this? What is that? A lever? A stand? It's a lever. Oh. To a lift. Okay. Well. Maybe this is the way in. Maybe we don't need to, uh, to go through the hole or anything. Oh, another phone call. Not the right time. Hello? Hello? Kate? It's Dan. Can uh. you hear me? Da Dan, is that you? I can't hear you so good. Dan? Hey, can you talk? It's about the last conversation. I are you still mad at me? Come on, this is it's important. Dan, you're breaking up. I'll try and call you when I get out of this mine. You <laughs> you're just making him worry more. Listen, we've got to talk. Look, the line's just getting worse and worse. I'm hanging up. Oh, you know what? I kind of do, uh... I've, I've got some sympathy for that guy, in a way. He's a bit of a dick sometimes, but wow. Uh, he's going through a bit of a uh, bit of turmoil here. What's this? I think it's another lever. I don't need to do that. Oh, that would be to cool the, uh, cool the elevator, I bet. Okay. And this? I could examine this. Okay. Oh, hang on. This another lever. Jammed. But that's jammed. Okay, I, it looks like I can use that's something here? Work. It looks like something's missing. Right. Is it missing a pair of metal shears? No. And that's not going to sort out the jamming problem either. Okay. What is this? It looks like a generator or something like that, honestly. I uh, don't think I can examine anything else about this, to be honest. Right. We can actually go deeper into the mine? Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can. In we go. Don't you need, like, a light source or something? Do I have something like that? I guess not. It's too dark to continue. Ah. I might lose my way. Fair enough. It is pretty much pitch black. And, uh, I do need to see, especially in a point-and-click game. Huh. Okay. Well, we still have the metal shears. I'm thinking we probably have to, uh, to use it with the hole. 
So let's head back up. I don't need to do that. No, of course not. You just need to just need to go up. Yeah, let's use it with the hole. So that means I have to take a ride on that big mechanical man. All right. I think this is where I jump off, right? Yep, that's it. Yeah. If there's already a hole there, I, I don't think there'd be a problem using the metal shears. Let's give it a go. So you've got to have a little bit of a hop over. Don't fall. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Metal shears? Oh. Yes! Yes, that's it, it works. Okay. Big enough to fit through, I hope. Uh, oh, I thought the game had crashed then. <laughs> so we can go in. Okay, now let's track down this guy wearing... He looked like he was wearing a red jacket. Okay, so let's see. Well, nothing up there. Nothing I want to have a look at there. No, okay. We can keep going towards the camera, though. Right. Okay. Let's see, then. I see a handprint. This is a window. And this must be the inside of the factory. Well, apart from pipes, I don't see too much, honestly. Let's back out of that. Can't examine the box. Hang on. What am I doing here? I can't go that way. Oh. Oh, that's a door or something? Oh, we can't go that way, though. I can have a look outside this window. Uh, just a lot of pipes and a few glitches as well. For some reason. Usually the glitches sort of uh, circle something that you can use, but I don't think there's anything I can use here. Unless it's on the other side of the glass. I don't know. Okay. Nothing down there. Uh, oh, I can have a look now. Are these different shelves? They might be. Oh, hang on. What's this? What is that? It is... A spark plug. Oh! I might be going back down to the mines, you know. Okay. Little gears and cogs and springs and such. That's it? I think that's it. Okay, so we don't enter the factory like this. I think we might be heading down to the mines again, so let's head back through the hole we just made. Another phone call? Yes? Kate, can you hear me this Oh, it's Dan again. Yes, I can hear you just perfectly, Dan, but I can't talk to you now. I'm in a real hurry. I wanted to say sorry. I know I wasn't very understanding last time. I've been feeling a bit bad about it. Okay, you're a real sweetheart, but I've got to leave you now. I'm not angry with you, so don't worry. I've just got to catch up to someone, and quick. But Kate! Kate! This is really important! I'll call you back, Dan. I'm sorry. It's just not important enough for Kate, apparently. Never mind. Ah, I, I, I do kind of feel sorry for him. Maybe I should give him a few more calls. I'll have a terrific tale to tell him when I get back home, though. Okay, so... Spark plug. It's a weird-looking spark plug, but it does fit here. Alright, yep. Okay. Oh, and that's not jammed. What?! That can't be the best way to do it. <laughs> it bloody works, though. Okay, so now the lights are on. We can actually explore the mines. Right. Kate, let's go. Okay, we can't go to the left, or the right, where the, uh, where the rat just went. It's probably good. Probably don't want to get lost down here. Let's just keep following the tracks, then. Okay, I thought I might be able to use whatever's in the back of that minecart, but no. Well, that was short and sweet. I think that's just another lift now. Do I need to use that? Hang on. Uh, maybe not. I think the lift's already there, to be honest. It is. Yes. So this is our way into the factory. Fantastic, okay. So, let's see, what have we got here? Um, let's go this way to start with. That must- I think that's the door I couldn't go through. Oh, wow. This is what I saw while I was listening to the, um, to the cylinder. What are these things? I gotta be honest, it looks like a pipe organ or something? It is! There's even someone playing it. That, well, I think it's probably an automaton, but... What the fuck? <laughs> what on earth? 
Oh, hang on. Here we go. I've got a screwdriver, right? Yes. And I've still got the metal shears. That's interesting. We're going to need to use them again. Can I not use this? Is there a key slot where I need to sort of wind you up? No? Okay. Well, we're just going to leave you alone. Probably for the best. Can't interact with this at all. Can't go any further to the right. So I think we're actually heading back downstairs. With a screwdriver in hand. Okay. So where is this guy? Why did he want Oscar's hands? Is he, like, making his own automaton? Maybe... Were they Oscar's hands there on on that automaton? I don't know. Let's try this door. I'm pretty sure this is the one we couldn't go through from the other side. That door is locked. Right, okay. Some cameras and TVs up there. Looks like this factory has, uh, has been shut down for quite a while, honestly. Is that another door? It may be, but I can't use it. All these pipes. They look crazy. Right, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, we've, hang on, we've got a ladder here. I can examine the ladder. I can't use it, but I can examine it. Or, what is that? Oh, it's like a sign of some sort. What? Uh, I don't know what that says. That looks like maybe some sort of uh, face shield. I don't know. I do know what I need to do with these, though. I have a screwdriver. All right, this is this is good. I like this new area already. Got to do them all manually. Fair enough. That's fine with me. Okay, so that comes down. Okay. Actually, it looks to me like there's nowhere else to go. So, up it is. All right, up to the walkway. What have we got here then? There's a door over there. We can we can use something here. What's this? What are we using? It seems this monorail is controlled from somewhere else. Right, it's a monorail. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe from in there. Let's have a look. Hey, there he is. Is that Hans Vorlberg? We'll have to find out next time. Thank you very much for watching Siberia Part Twelve. Hope to see you back in Part Thirteen where we'll come face to face with Oscar's attacker. See you then. All right. Still, oh no, no wait, it works. Oh, was it my suitcase that was stolen? My God, Os Oscar, <laughs> Oscar, talk to me. My hands, I no longer have them. Oh shit. They've been stolen. I didn't realize that. God, you haven't got your hands. Whoops. But oh, big enough to fit through, I hope. Uh, oh, I thought the game had crashed then. <laughs> i got to be honest, it looks like a pipe organ or something. It is. 